Hey everybody, I'm Delicia. Thanks for stopping by the Cigar Vixen channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the beautiful Magdalia in this uh, different Vitola here. This is made by uh, McAuliffe Cigars and this one is the Corona Extra. It's a 4x46. I did a review of the, the Magdalia Corona Gorda, which is the smaller one, the 4x46, uh, a couple years back now. It was I think in like 2018. And at that time, it was the it was the only Vitola that Magdalia was available in. Of course, she is named, well, Magdalia is actually the woman who is behind the brand. She's second generation of the Goma Sanchez family. I've had the pleasure of meeting her and she's a phenomenal cigar roller. She has a um, tremendous history and just a tremendous love for her craft and her passion of cigars that she, that she has taught. Uh, to her sons and again they're carrying on that family legacy. Now McAuliffe um, and the Gomez Sanchez family have partnered of course uh, to create this beautiful brand and um, again I'm a huge fan of this particular Batola. so love 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 the the extra um, you know, couple inches that they added to the length. The actual circumference is the same as at a 46, but there's something about that added length that of course it adds to your smoking time, which is nice because the other one is great for the quick smokes. If you don't have a ton of time, that one's like, you know, maybe like a 30, 45 minute smoke where this one is gonna give you uh, adequate time if you have that proper, you know, full hour to sit down and really, you know, smoke your cigar. If you're at a lounge, if you're at home, wherever you may be, um, it's just a really nice, nice way. And I, I've been leaning towards this Vitola over the other now for a little while since they first gave it to me. And I'm a huge fan of it. Um, I do, there was a comment, um, well, there's actually a comment on quite a few, anytime I post anything about McAuliffe that, um, you know, kind of like sarcastic, like, oh, wow, McAuliffe again. Um, yeah, so I wanted to address that because there's a reason for that. There's two reasons actually, one, um, the more obvious, I actually really enjoy their cigars. Um, but the second reason is that they're very generous with their cigars. And so I actually have a lot of samples and a lot of their different lines that, um, have been, you know, shipped out to me. And so I have them, you know, on hand in my humidor, which makes it easier for me to include their cigars for, you know, top fives to do reviews, to really bring attention, their brand to all of you who maybe you haven't heard of them or you're you know only familiar with a couple of their lines. So again, to me as somebody who reviews cigars, I appreciate that in a brand, them taking the time. They're not the only one who does it. Um, there's quite a few actually. However, their samples that they send out are again, very generous. And so I appreciate that. So I like to try to, um, again, because I have them on hand and because I actually really like their cigars, um, I try to share that information and pass it along to all of you watching. So um, yeah, just thought I would bring that up. And of course, um, I'm a huge advocate for their ambassador program. In fact, this was something that um, I'm embarrassed to say I had received it a while back and I had it in an envelope um, tucked away kind of like with my desk or at my desk. And this is the actual certificate. I've been meaning to show this to you guys because I always talk about, hey, make sure you sign up and click on the link and jump over and join their uh, McAuliffe Ambassador Program. But this is what you actually get. So it's really cute, um, a very just well thought out idea, which to me again demonstrates the you know, the overall class and the time that they're putting into wanting to get all of you to not only smoke their cigars, but to fall in love with their cigars and to, you know, tell your friends about it, which again, a lot of people are kind of missing that step, I think, in our industry. There are some that try to connect and then there's others that um, either they've been in it so long that they just don't care or they're trying to do a different version of some sort. But anyways, I like theirs. I think it's a, a fresh approach and it's one that it kind of gets you excited to sign up and join but this is the actual certificate that you get. So you get the, it says McAuliffe Cigar Ambassador Certificate of Membership. The certificate is granted to Cigar Vixen. Uh, you were selected to be a McAuliffe Cigar Ambassador because you support, um, because of your support and commitment to the brand, McAuliffe Cigars rewards brand loyalty. And then it's like a welcome uh, to the McAuliffe Cigar Brand Ambassador Program. You have your own coin number, which this coin number is how you sign up for the McAuliffe Facebook group. 
Now, um, another thing I will address because um, I am an advocate for their ambassador program because it's really cool, but um, I have seen a few comments, not too many, but a few people out there that are like, hey, I haven't received my coin yet. I signed up. Um, what's going on? And the only thing I can say is, um, you know, they'll get it to you. Um, sometimes they're busy, I guess, and maybe they overlook it at the moment, but then eventually, you know, it will get out. I have seen the few that have reached out to me personally, they have reached back out saying, Hey, I, I got the coin. Um, I don't think that's something that is super common, but I have seen just a couple of those floating around. So I will say if you did sign up and for some reason haven't received your coin yet, um, feel free to message me. I'll try and push that through and say, find out what's going on. But, um, that's normally not the case. Everybody that I've seen posts regularly, you know, they, they post the initial picture with their coin and then the cigar, but it's really cool. I'm starting to chime in more into the Facebook group, which is kind of fun because Facebook up until I started participating in that group, I don't get on Facebook much because there's just, you get bombarded with messages and it's too much to where I kind of just lose uh, the whole thing. But, um, with this group, it's nice because it's kind of like, a, a smaller group and it's more focused on you know which cigar are you smoking and like posting stuff about it and it's just um for me personally i like to get on there and interact with those of you who are, are on there as well so um getting that out of the way now let's get back to the cigar again this um fun little four by i'm sorry six by 46 and um let's cut right into it Although it might help if I told you the actual blend. So the actual blend on this one, it's a four-year-old San Andres Habano wrapper, uh, Sumatra binder, and then Nicaraguan and Dominican filler. All of the components have been aged a minimum of four years. And then of course they're left to sit and those flavors are left to marry each other and really come out nicely. Um, one of the things that I noticed right away um, more so in this Vitola, it's funny, than in the first is that you can really taste the aging on the tobacco. Um, it's very, uh, what's the it, age? So how would you describe it? It's like, you know, just a, a, a more mellow, like you could taste the flavors, but it's, they're settled. Um, it, it's, I don't know, it has like a vintage feel to it. So I particularly like that. On the flip side, you can always tell when a cigar has not been aged. So I guess it would be the opposite of that flavor <laughs> when it's like that real sharp or that bitter, or you could just, you can taste when a tobacco is very young and especially when it hasn't been aged adequately, it, it stands out and it gives you like that bitter funkiness. So this one on the flip side has that really nice, um, just kind of that vintagey feel to it where it's, um, it's just been properly aged and you can, you can taste that, which is nice. So if that makes sense. I. You know, stuff makes sense in my head, and then sometimes when I turn the camera on and then I start talking, I, I watch it later, and it's like, what was I? I don't even know. It's sometimes I just say weird things. So hopefully by now you guys know me well enough, and you kind of get what I'm trying to say. So This is one of those that initially, I mean, the first puff, toasted graham cracker, you get a nice spice to it. It's a mixture on the spice. You pick up, you pick up like, more so on the finish actually, you get the black pepper, but that initial spice is more of like towards like the cinnamon style of the spicy. And it's, it's just really nice. It's a warm welcome right away. Um, certainly one that keeps you you know interested in smoking it so um i always look at that there's certain cigars that you don't get that right away and in fact it takes you like a few puffs to get into it and then you're kind of like okay so i always love the ones that the very first puff you're like yeah this is great i mean i like that so beautiful spice to this Again, that initial puff that you bring it in, you get the flavor sensation of more of almost like the cinnamon, like a red hot candy. It's a, it's a candied cinnamon, it's a spicy, but then after it settles and you release the smoke and you're just kind of sitting here like I am now, you pick up more of a black pepper spice on the finish. 
So it's really nice, um, creamy. You pick up a little bit of like that sweet earth to it. Um, already getting again, like that vintagey, I guess you could say like a vintage leather, like imagine like a leather bomber jacket kind of a feel to it. Um, it has that essence. Again, you can tell the tobacco has been adequately aged. Really nice. background of cedar just nice um again this is um this is a phenomenal standalone cigar i normally say oh this cigar would go great with x y or z um this one is really good alone it just glass of water you know <laughs> i mean it, if you're not somebody that is used to pairing your cigars with things um not that this wouldn't pair nicely with something but maybe it's because i tend to when I do smoke this cigar, I tend to just smoke it by itself, not even with a cup of coffee, which is rare because I normally do things with coffee a lot. This one is just, it's really, really good. I mean, you want to smoke it and not have other things interfering with it. It's a really tasty smoke. And again, um, having kind of revisited this, this blend, but then more so um, this Vitola, as opposed to the smaller, the smaller Corona that they offer, um, this one is just, it's really smooth. The other one kind of hits you with a little bit more punch. I think because of the smaller Vitola, it was like, okay, we better get that, get that strength and get that oomph in there with a shorter amount of time. This one, it just, it's really smooth and it just, you, you just pick up these notes. I mean, I'm still, I took a puff. I don't know how a uh, minute, not even a minute, maybe, I don't know, a while ago. And I'm still getting that finish of black pepper, a little bit of um, kind of like an oak in the background, uh, just really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna come back for the second, third and talk to you a little bit more about some of these flavors that um, I know they're coming, <laughs> but I'll be back to discuss that with you all shortly. So coming back about halfway, yeah, around halfway or so, had a really nice ash going on. It has, let's see, it's, it fell twice. So first little chunk, and then, you know, the secondary one that not too long ago popped off. But, um, man, I mean, the, the burn line is really nice. Um, the draw is great. I mean, it's right in that perfect realm of like not too much and not, not any struggle, but it's not like a straw. So it's right in that happy place. Um, <clears throat> Flavor-wise, it's creamy. It has that nice cinnamon to it, and it has, um, hey baby, there's Nika. Uh, it has a cinnamon, This it has a cedar still in there. Um, there's been a little bit of like kind of a light roast coffee. You do pick up, again, um, just a nice creamy element to it. So really nice. I mean, man, this, this is just a, it's, it's a very good tasting stick. I mean, I say that sometimes and I say cigars are good, but like this one would actually be excellent. Um, it, it just has like some really nice, easy, smooth, again, zero harshness to it. Um, it it's just really nice. I mean, you get that long finish and on that finish, you're still getting that black pepper, but it's not overpowering. It's just the right amount. I mean, it's just like that more than subtle, but I mean, you definitely know it's there, but it's not like too much or too much of a bite or, you know, where it makes something harsh. It's just really nice. So huge fan. i um, going to smoke it down a little bit more and check back in one last time to see if there's anything else to add. And um, yeah, I'll be back. All right. So getting back into the final third, not a ton of change. Picked up a little bit more on the spice. However, again, it's, it's the... It's a very like subtle spice, but that's not the right word. It's kind of like a, just again, the best way to, to really kind of get the point across is to say that it's aged. So if something's aged, you still get the sensation and the flavor of the spice, but it's not like a bite. So it's a very easy, um, it's just, it's a very nice smoke. I mean, it's a really all the way throughout 
it's a it's an excellent flavor profile in fact if you are a padron person you would like these cigars um it just, there's something about it. It's somewhat reminiscent to that style, that type of flavor. Um, it, I don't know. It, it just, it's a really, really tasty cigar. And a, a, in this Vitola, I just find that you kind of pick up a little bit more of that and it's a little easier to smoke. It's not so, it's not as, as much of a, of a kind of like a strength bomb as the last as the other uh, size that I did a review on. That one is a, is quite a bit more like you know pack some punch to it. This one it still does. I'd still put this in, you know, like right right underneath a full cigar. It's kind of like that high high medium, but um, but in a nice way. Like it's a very just easy to smoke, nice flavors. You get like zero bitter, zero harshness. It's you know, a little bit of that vintagey leather, you get an earthiness, you pick up a black pepper, especially on the finish. Um, you get cedar in there, you get, um, again, a little bit of that light roast coffee, very creamy, just really nice. I mean, again, if you've never smoked one, definitely pick one up. I mean, even if you're not a fan or you're not part of the ambassador program, all that, just try and find one. You should be able to find this cigar in a number of locations now. I have seen the McAuliffe growth happen, you know, like, and they're available in a lot more lounges, a lot more brick and mortar places. Um, of course you can jump onto their website, which is very user friendly. It'll tell you where you could find a retailer near you, which is cool. But, um, yeah, check it out. And if you have smoked the McDahlia, preferably in this particular format, you know, the, the six by 46, um, I'd love to hear your comments. You know, did you get some of these notes I was talking about, you know, what was your overall take? But again, always welcome the comments and the positive uh, feedback. <laughs> but um, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.